welcome to another video. In this one, which is slightly different, I'm going to show you how to merge two railway photographs together in Photoshop. On my Moon and Trespass video, I said it was a simple process in Photoshop to merge two images together. Now, since I put that video out, I've been asked by all sorts of people, if it's that simple, then how do you do it? Show me how to do it. So, in two minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in Lightroom and Photoshop. I find that if I'm setting out for one of these shots, then definitely go for a tripod. Uh, get your camera locked down, get it locked in position. Keep the exposure as close as you can between the two images that you're going to take. For this exercise, I'll use the uh, two Hitachi trains. The LNER Zoomer coming out of Leeds on the uh, Wakefield line and the Trans Pennine Nova heading out of Leeds on the uh, Huddersfield line. Right, let's dive in. Let's get on the computer, get these two images loaded up and let's get the thing merged together. So here we are in front of the computer uh, in Lightroom. So we've got the two images loaded into Lightroom, the LNER Azuma and the uh, Trans Pennine Nova. First thing we're going to do is select both images, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. And what this has done is brought the two uh, images into one Photoshop file. We've got the LNER Azuma as the top file and the Transpennine as the layer underneath, which is the correct way that I wanted it actually, because I want to keep the uh, this LNER as the uh, as the main file and we're going to mask in the uh, uh, Transpennine underneath it. So, first thing to do, select both layers there, go into Edit, Auto Align Layers and click Auto. Although these were taken on a tripod, there's always a slight variation between each um, each image, you know, when the, the shutter press just slightly moves the, the position and it's showing there that there's a little white line around the image so there's a slight variation between the two. What we're going to do to bring the Nova in, we're going to create a layer mask. So on the selecting the top file, create a layer mask. Now a layer mask allows us to almost create an invisible or a hole in the top image. So if we if we paint with black on the layer mask, black reveals. So if we paint black, it will reveal the layer underneath. So with a paintbrush, set in black, paintbrush opacity of 100%, if we were to paint on the layer mask, it would effectively create a hole in that top image and reveal what's underneath it. If we're not, there's a couple of tricks that we can do here. On this top layer, if we are not sure where we want to start painting, we can drop the opacity down and it will reveal what's on the layer underneath so we can see we want to be about there. So moving the opacity of that top layer back to 100%, clicking on the layer mask, we're on black, we're on the paintbrush, our brush is at 100%, we can start painting. Now it's important that we paint on the layer mask and not the image. If we were to paint on the image, we'd be just painting black and, uh, and destroying that, uh, that layer. But we're actually painting on the layer mask in black and is revealing the layer underneath. is what we've done there. Now it's not very convincing, there's a there's a bit of a black line around there and it's it's not that great. So what we can do with that is we reduce the opacity of the brush to less than 50% and we'll just this creates a bit of a feather on the mask and softens the edge. And what I've 
10 pair is on. Zoom in a little bit. But what we can do, if we paint on white, it will delete some of the layer mask and we can do that by bringing, we'll just bring some of that sunlight back there. And we'll bring some of the sunlight back there. Zoom back out. Right, there we are. That was as simple as that. So we've we've created a layer mask which has revealed the image underneath. Now with the magic of Photoshop if we then save that Photoshop file it will automatically save back into Lightroom the, uh, the edited Photoshop file. So here we are. So it's brought it back into Lightroom the merge one it's unedited so we can do a quick edit on this um, I'll do a lot more work on a real image but this is just gonna be a quick one minute edit so we'll drop the highlights up there because the, the Sun is bursting through lift the shadows a little bit drop the blacks a little bit there now I'm gonna lift the clarity this is sort of giving a bit more sharpening to the image but lifting the clarity it actually drops the saturation so if we lift the clarity I'm just going to lift the uh, saturation a little bit not too much and that'll do that'll do as a quick edit now final bit there what I'll do is a crop because I took this quite wide actually so I can crop that. I do like to get things on a third, so that's the Elinear's on a third line there. The Nova is nicely on a third intersection. Drop that down a little bit, retaining that, not to lose that tree at the top. Yeah, that's okay. Click OK. And that is it as a final image. So, uh, that was it, a quick two minutes, maybe it was more than two minutes, I don't know, but uh, there you are, a quick edit in, uh, in Photoshop of merging two images together. I hope you found that one uh, useful, and uh, hopefully on the next video, we're at the side of the railway line somewhere, and uh, I shall see you then. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>